Hello everybody on the internet and on YouTube and welcome back to The Sims 2 to a town that is not pleasant view but very close to. <laughs> Today we are in Blue Water Village guys. I'm super excited. This town is of course the shopping district that came with Open for Business uh, which attaches to Pleasant View. I have a feeling Pleasant View is kind of like just over that hill maybe or something like that. But we're going to be diving in today to the families of this lovely little dwelling place. So in Blue Water Village, we of course have the Land Grab family, the Ramirez family, the Jacques and the Tinker family. And then we also have Florence Della Rosa over here. I haven't thought too much about an order of play for this, to be honest, which I probably should have before I jumped in. Ooh, good job organizing me. But I think as a start, we might jump in with Mm, the Tinker family? Yeah, why not? We're gonna jump in with the Tinker family. <laughs> and I'll just make a note of that so I can actually remember this order of play for next time. So the Tinker family, uh, Wanda, Stephen and Melody. It says Wanda and Stephen hoped their toy shop would be in the family for generations to come, but their daughter seems to have other plans. Can Melody follow her own dreams and can and still keep her parents happy? Hmm, not sure. So the Tinker family are pretty, uh, pretty cute. I quite like them actually. I love Wanda, she's such a babe. And then Melody, I actually really enjoy playing as well, uh, just as a bit of a different kind of sim. So one of the first things I'm gonna do with this family is of course, see if I can get their toy shop to run successfully, which is always a bit of a challenge. And one of the other things I'm gonna do pretty much probably this episode with this family is give them all a quick makeover because they just mm, you know especially the girls they're kind of interesting looking sims I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and a couple of small changes in my very professional opinion can make them look much much better it's taking a little bit of time to load here so I will just pause and I'll be with you guys when we load into the lot Welcome back and here we are inside the Tinker family lot. Can we all just immediately stop for a second and admire the magnitude of this house? It is massive. Like, wow, good for you guys. And then out the back here, of course, we also do have the little toy shop. Uh, but we'll have a look at all of that in due time. So if we jump in to the top level of this house, we can see that their um, decorating taste is interesting and, and, and unique you know it's uh probably not everyone's taste but you get that <laughs> this is must this lot must be worth a lot of simoleons yeah heaps they could sell this and get a really nice house if they wanted to maybe i'll do that i don't know but over here we have melody's room which is uh as we can see very dark very chic very black um there's apparently a brick texture on the walls i'm gonna pretend that's wallpaper because Otherwise, that makes no sense, but yeah. Then we have a very simple uh, upstairs bathroom, which does not even have a sink. We have a telescope, randomly. Uh, we have the master bedroom over here, which is a little nicer. At least the furnishings are quite nice in that one. We have an upstairs gym, which is cool and seems to be a little incongruent with this family's personalities, but hey, we'll go with it. Down here, we have a large, very large formal dining area, a very large spacious living room, a very spacious foyer with a piano and not much else, and a pretty spacious kitchen, plus a small downstairs bathroom. So yeah, the Tinkers are not lacking in space. That is for absolute sure. And then back here, we can see Steven standing in his toy shop, which is uh, looking a little bare bones, to be honest, uh, Steven, but hey, you know, some quick sprucing and some toy making over here and we could get this up and running, I'm sure. <laughs> so having a look at our Sims, here we have Mr. Steven Tinker, who has really pretty blue eyes. He's a family Sim who wants to have a baby and his lifetime wish is to become Captain Hero Level 10 and be a solid uh, provider for the family, I guess. Hmm, not sure that's going to happen, but that's all right. Quick look in his relationship panel. He doesn't know many Sims at all. Um, he's fairly close with his wife. He's friends with his daughter, but it looks like their daily relationship has slipped a little lately. And he knows this guy, Archie Cooper, which is cool. And he has parents, Ron and Lauren Tinker, in the family tree. In his skills panel, uh, looking a little bear. <laughs> oh my goodness, how have you gotten to like 
almost elderhood with absolutely no skills, buddy. I do not understand that. He does at least have a bronze toy making badge. Uh, don't pay too, too much attention to his age at the moment. I am going to give him a little more time to live his life. In my mind, Steven Tinker is about 40 and I will be updating everyone's ages in the next round to reflect where I still to see them sitting. He is a Capricorn. Hmm, I think that's our first Capricorn. So this reads extremely clever. Capricorns often provide amusement for those around them. Also being very practical, they strive for order and discipline. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's an interesting combination actually. He's a pretty neat sim and very playful. A little shy, a little lazy and fairly nice. He's a little on the porky side, which I love. Uh, Steven is very likable, but somewhat bumbling. He was the mascot for his college's football team. Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. What? Oh, I love that. He is very interested in toys, which makes a lot of sense. Pretty interested in work and entertainment and sci-fi. Uh, we don't know what his hobby is. Quick look in his memory. Oh, wow. That's a very bare bones memory panel too. Not much of his backstory, but basically he grew up, got married and had a daughter. He likes influential sims with black hair, uh, but he does not like people who went to college. So that's cool. I'm going to do a real quick calculation for his secondary aspiration and I will be right back. Okay, so very quick calculation for Mr. Steven Tinker's secondary aspiration. And we have discovered that he is a secondary pleasure sim. So he wants to just have a great time in life, which I kind of like for him. I think that really suits him. Next, we're going to jump over to his wifey, Wanda Tinker, who's standing here in a fabulous little green dress, which is a default replacement I have. Looks like there's a little bit of an issue with the legs, but that's cool. We'll just try to ignore that and move on. Um, Wanda looks a little bit less than impressed with what's going on right now, but that's okay. <laughs> She's also a family sim who wants to have a baby, and her lifetime wish is to marry off six children. Mm, girl, well, look, you better get a move on. Six kids, that's a big ask. <laughs> Maybe if I give them both super fertility. Ooh, we could do it. We definitely have a big enough house. I'll think about it. <laughs> so she is also friends with her daughter and knows this guy, Archie Cooper. I wonder how he relates to the family. Her parents were Damien Zerubin and Autumn Zerubin. Oh, I wonder if she's related to Tiffany Zerubin. Random. <laughs> she is another sim who has absolutely no skill points, which is sad, but she actually has a silver toy making badge. So she's actually better at making toys than her husband, which is kind of interesting. Her personality is a Capricorn like her husband. So when she is a little more even over this, but extremely lazy. So again, it's, <laughs> I'm not sure why these guys have a gym, but hey, let's, we're just going with it. I'm also not sure what's up with this. She seems to be quite fit, but still overweight. <laughs> Wonders Bias says warm, playful, and caring. Wonder was born to be a mother. Aw, that's a bit cute. <laughs> Her interest panel shows that she's actually quite interested in crime, animals, culture, and toys. Just lovely. We're not sure what her hobby enthusiasm is. Her memory panel is just as bare bones as her husband, I think. Beautiful. She's attracted to porky sims who have facial hair and turned off by makeup. Um, just jump in really quick and give her this. So yes, if we if we do decide to get these two to have babies, they're going to have a lot of babies. Um, and I will be right back with her secondary aspiration. Alrighty. So it turns out that Wanda's secondary aspiration, according to my calculations, is fortune. I actually really like that for her because this family, I don't know where they got their money. It must have been from one of their parents, but they are actually quite well off. Like I said, they have a lot of net worth tied up into this house. 4,817 simoleons isn't too bad in terms of a starting bank balance. And yeah, it just seems to make a lot of sense actually that Wanda would be interested in in money and want to get more of it. And then up here we have their daughter Melody, who we can see is a, uh, well, interesting. I'm not sure what's up with these velvety looking maroon leg warmers and arm warmers, but you know, you do you girl. 
<laughs> Alrighty, so Melody is a knowledge sim and she has the lifetime wish of becoming a mad scientist level 10. She currently wants to go to college, get into private school and have her first kiss, but she doesn't know anyone, which is going to make that difficult. She only knows her parents. Oh, that's a bit sad. She's currently a C grade public school student. She has a good amount of creativity skill, probably from that piano downstairs and no talent badges. She's very interested in politics and the environment, not at all all interested in toys so melody is definitely not one who wants to uh, take over the family business unfortunately she doesn't have her hobby enthusiasm yet she has no memories whatsoever Alrighty. uh did she have her like her brain wiped by aliens or something <laughs> and she likes fit sims who have graduated college which i love for her and she's turned off by cologne interesting not gonna chuck her secondary aspiration in until she is uh, older. So without further ado, we are going to hit play on this family and see what happens. So it's 9 a.m. on a Monday, so technically you should be at school, darling. Mm. Do I want to get you to walk to school? I think I do. See if you can meet anyone, girl. You need to make some friends. And then Wanda is going to go and talk to Steven. Kiss tenderly. Oh, that's a bit sweet. Hello, dearest. Uh, where are you going? He's right here. And then we'll give him a tender kiss because he yeah, wanted to do that. And then what we're going to do, as I mentioned, is really quickly come in here and change Wanda's appearance. Because this little hat thing, mm. I'm just, no, I'm just not feeling it. It's not cute, girl. I'm sorry. So yeah, we're just going to fix that real quick. And then you're going to jump in here. You're just going to go quickly to the upstairs bathroom. And then we're going to get to work with getting this shop ready for launch, I guess you could say. Because right now, they've got a bit of work to do. I will say it does really confuse me as to why their toy shop is right in this back, back corner of the yard. It really is a little strange. And it's also tiny. So yeah, that's the thing. I would really love to buy these guys uh, a lot in Blue Water Village that they can use as their toy shop. And that is something I would definitely be trying to do sooner rather than later. Oh, look how great she looks with other hair. Seriously. I've got one in particular that I have in mind for Wanda. I gave it to her the last time I played the Blue Water Village families and I just loved it. It suited her so well. Uh, so I've just got to find it. I can just have a look at some of my other hairs while we go through. <laughs> I get most of my hairs from tumblers, guys. Or simblers, I guess I could, I should say. Simblers are the best. I love them. These ones are really cool. These are Sims 4 to Sims uh, 2 conversions. So a bit more low poly, which is fun. That one's intense. Mm, where is this hair? So how are you guys? Having a good day? Oh, here it is. Ah, yes. Queen. I love it. I love it. Do I want lighter? No, darker. Done. That is going to be my wonder tinker. <laughs> big hair, big booty. Yes, girl. <laughs> so what she wants to do is talk to Melody, play with Melody, have a baby, and for Melody to be an overachiever. Um... That's cool. We're going to ignore that right now. We're going to get you to come out here and make many fire trucks. Nobody wants uh, bricks a lot toys. So we're going to do fire trucks instead. And we're going to start making up these toys that these guys are going to need so they can sell them. Steven, you're going to come downstairs and serve some food. Make a group meal. You can't make much. Little Heroes fire truck. Sure. Are you going to play the piano? Okay. You can do that while I figure out what I want to make. I have way too much custom food. I really need to get rid of a lot of this because I never use it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's just do some sandwiches. Does having creativity skill help with them like gain talent badges faster? That's a question I'd like to know the answer to. Yes, girl. You make those little fire trucks. We're gonna get ahead and make maybe like 
five to ten of those if she can manage it before she gets really tired. It also does confuse me a little as to why the dining room is over there when they have all of this space. You can easily fit a beautiful dining setting in the middle of, middle of this room. I know it would be a little strange to like walk in and immediately you're at the dining table, but still. To me, that makes more sense than over there. I don't know. The layout of this house, man. Very, very strange. Gonna eat a sandwich. I wish she... Hmm. How much are these toy benches? Because I would love to buy another one so you can both make toys. Just completely block the window. Um, 1,500 simoleons. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to save their money for buying a community lot, which would probably be a better idea. Also, I just realized I was sitting way back in my chair, so that audio is probably way too quiet. <laughs> my bad. Good girl. How many you got? Five. Good. Alright. Stop that. And then you're going to finish making the fire truck. Oh, we have a welcome wagon. And it's Chico Ramirez. Hello, darling. Who else we got? Oh, cool. We got Checo, we got Lisa, and we've got Denise Jacque. I'm probably saying that wrong, by the way. I am no language expert. I apologize. Someone eating that? Okay, you can go and get a leftover sandwich. Yay, making friends! But yeah, like, I'm pretty sure it is the Q-U-E-T is that quay sound, but I don't know if you say the J. I don't know if it's like chaket or yake or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know how to speak French. Oh good! She brought a friend home! That's wonderful. I would rather it... Hmm. Okay. Who is it? Belinda Bridges. Cute outfit girl. I like Yaz boots. Wish I was wearing Yaz boots. Okay, so now she wants to get a job. Which I kind of do like for her. I do feel like she should have a job. Where are you going to put that homework? In there, of course. That, because that makes sense. Yeah, cool. In your parents' bedroom. Good idea. I'm just going to move that immediately to into your bedroom. Cool. Everybody's chilling, hanging out. I'm going to get a job. Do we have a newspaper? Let's see what's available. Let's see if we can get adventurer or journalism. I kind of like journalism for her. Or if there's science, of course, we can jump into that because then she'll have an advantage in the science career, which would be cool. Wanda, come and talk to Lisa Ramirez. And you, talk to Checo. Hello. Chat. <laughs> He's talking about Wu. <laughs> and she's talking about babies. <laughs> so, are you two going to be having any more kids sometime soon? Because we're sure thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate conversation with someone you just met, but oh well, I'm not going to go with it. Why do you have to sit okay, right in the middle? That's cool, Melody. It's not like there's a whole other couch like right there that you could have sat in. Just saying. Cheerleader. Oh, I definitely am not Hello. thinking that is right for Melody Tinker. Business. Law. No. We do have computers, right? Oh, duh. Should have just done that. Run. Run, Melody. Run up here. I'm going to ignore this girl that you just brought home because you just do not have any wants to interact with her whatsoever. Are you running? That's not running. You can run upstairs. It's okay. I won't judge you. Oh, is she bringing this all the way up here to put it down somewhere? <laughs> That's okay. Alright, and then you're gonna have a bit of a chat with Denise. You're gonna come here. Where's the dartboard back there? I didn't even realize. That's kind of cool, actually. Tell us more with Lisa. How are you doing, girl? Yes, you're looking for a job. Cool, cool. Let's see how we go. Music. I don't mind that for her, actually. I can see her working in a music shop <laughs> just with this particular outfit. Oh, that reminds me. We're going to do a quick little makeover on her in a second as well. Law, no. 
<laughs> Gamer. <laughs> I like that for her as well. But she doesn't want those jobs. Ah, oh, man. I think that's unfortunately going to be yeah, all of the jobs that are available today. So we'll have to look again tomorrow. Let's hope we have more luck. Okay, come down here. And join in. Oh. Well, I was going to say join in watching so you can get fun and social. But that's cool. Ask Belinda to join. Yeah. What are you doing? Magical. You're sitting. Okay, can you maybe yeah, serve up some dinner or something? Um, make group meal. It's a bit early, but... Oh, that's right. <laughs> you have no cooking skill. <gasps> Ugh, so annoying. You don't know how to make anything. Oh my goodness. Alright, you know what? We're going to order Chinese food. Because... <laughs> right, not service. Delivery. Because you don't know how to cook worth diddly squat and you don't want to serve your guests mac and cheese. That's just bad. And Chinese food will happily feed all of the sims who are currently here, so that is great. Alright, you've had fun. So that's cool. Let me come and talk to her a little bit. Just because you did bring her home from school. Yeah, Chinese food is on the way. Yeah. I actually have leftover stir fry for dinner tonight, which is going to be really delicious. I'm quite looking forward to that. And then after everyone has had, had a bit of Chinese food, we're going to <laughs> probably go back to making some more toys if we can. Come on over here, I want you to talk to Denise a little, because I think that's nice. Um, ooh, Chinese food is here, so you're going to come and accept that delivery. Something interesting that I feel the melody tinker, by the way, guys, is I'm not sure about her, I guess, uh, word. Oh my goodness, I'm totally, I'm totally blanking on the word. <laughs> Orientation? Um, I think melody may be... If not, not a, if not gay, then maybe bi. I think Melody is gender curious. Um, I always get that feeling, sort of, whenever I play her. Like, she's really cute with other girls. I don't know, something about it. So that might be something that we can explore. Um, these guys do seem to be getting along pretty well. <laughs> Let's see if share interest goes well, because sometimes that goes really well and sometimes it goes horribly, horribly wrong. Where'd the Chinese food go, Checo? Not Checo, oh my goodness. What am I saying? Why did you put it all the way up here? No. That was a silly idea. Also, your name is Steven, sorry. I do know who you are. Strangely. Alright, grab a box. A flirt. Right, I want you guys to try sharing interests because I want to see how it goes. And then we're going to do that quick makeover. Because this hair, I don't know. I just don't. I'm not feeling it. And the face makeup is okay, but I don't know again. And yeah, be interesting. Definitely. Does anyone have a dresser? Might s yeah, okay, we can plan outfits. I might see what other clothes she has that she could possibly wear. Also, also, their sharing interest is going really well. It seems like these two have a lot in common. She's kind of cute. Also, she's a really cute sim, just in general. Alright. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. I'm going to remove... Oh, look how pretty she is. You just can't see it. I'm going to remove that. Um, oh goodness, we could be here all day. <laughs> I'm just going to warn you now, this could take me a little while.
We're going to go for this. Okay. I like it. Yep. We're sticking with it. I really need to get some custom glasses. Oh my word. Why do I not have any? So originally she's wearing like those. Okay. I'm going to give her these for now. And I will probably do another quick makeover on her next part just to give her some better glasses because in the meantime I will go and I will download some. That looks really nice. I'll let her keep her weird whatever whatever thing that she's got on the side of her face. <laughs> and then what I might do, give her a bit more eyeliner because I think she would be pretty heavy with the makeup actually. And that'll do for now. Cool. Beautiful. Shopping. Love that. Yes, Did you everybody come and enjoy your Chinese deliciousness. Oh, Shenakala. Oh, okay, so we have that or a tracksuit. Um, no. Okay, well, we're going to stick with that for now, and then I'll have to send her shopping. All right. Come downstairs. <laughs> Actually, no, I, think, I don't know. She's a pretty shy thing, right? Yeah, I think she might have had enough of company for today. Ooh, why are you eating in here, Stephen? <laughs> why? It's just annoying. Come down here, use the bathroom, and then I'm going to go get you to... Oh, whoops. Is there even no, like, no lights in here at all? Okay, you can't make many things. I'm gonna make get you to make many clown in a box because we really need to get some stock up ready to start selling. <laughs> and then I think one is gonna be by everyone. Eating Chinese food does take a really long time in game apparently. Give noogie. All right, sure. Something I am quickly quickly gonna do is swap out this computer and put in a hacked one oh, whoopsies because if melody does get a job i want her to start saving into her own bank account just because i feel like that is definitely something she would do i also feel like she'd have like a yeah an interesting colored computer <laughs> i don't know why but we're going with it and then i want her to shop online i don't know what just happened i'll have a look in a sec and buy herself what does she want an mp3 player yeah, I'm gonna let her do that. Oh, Wanda got skinny. Oh, lame. I like her being boo delicious. Oh, okay. Well, good for you, I guess, honey. Oh, yeah, no, you need to move. You're in the way. And you've had enough Chinese food. Shamona! Shamona! Oh, yeah. Okay, now we can do it. What am I doing? Shop online, electronic gadget. I think it's player. No, just put that down. Did you say goodbye to everyone? Yes. Looks like yes. Everyone's heading home. Okay. Thanks for coming over, guys. See you later. I love how there's just food packets everywhere. That's great. Awesome. <laughs> can, like, have... Ooh, yes. Take a bath. There we go. So now she just wants to go to college, earn money, and get a job. Oh, go to college, get into private school. Okay, well, if you want to go to college, you're going to have to do your homework, honey. And if you want to get into private school, you're going to have to do your homework. Oh, this is what happens when you buy the MP3 players. <laughs> That's me in real life, just constantly listening to music, actually. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. After you've done that, you're going to come over here and relax a little. Because you do both want to have more babies, so... I'm gonna let you. I'm nice like that. Cool. I'm gonna speed this up a little. A few Chinese food, you're gonna do that. And then you're probably just gonna go to bed. You're just gonna have a bit of a read. That'll be fun. Good. He's successfully made one. I want him to make five before bed. Are you an active sim? Oh, so you're why we have the gym. Okay, well that makes a little more sense. But I'm gonna leave that. That's probably enough for tonight. I also have a mod, by the way. I, I really like it. It gives them credit for 
partially completed homework and it makes it so that the homework doesn't like stack up day to day to day to day so if they don't get it done one day they're not going to have two lots of homework to do the next day I actually prefer that because I feel like yeah they go to school they get a partial credit if they've done a bit of it if they haven't they have to finish it at school and then they bring home more homework the next day I kind of like that how many you got you got three this will be four late night for Steven standing here in the dark in his could be a toy shop one day making clown in a box as you do and then I'm gonna let you just come up take a really quick shower and go relax can you not do that Balin nice All right, really quickly I'll just boop that into his inventory Cool, cool. She's tucked up in the bed. One is still having a nice little read. A bit low on energy, so that could definitely affect their woohoo. But hopefully, with both of these things, with super fertility, one can get pregnant. It is a bit interesting as to why they haven't had more kids if they both want to have more kids. Um, something I've definitely done with this family before is made it so that they were infertile, uh, which is really sad. And then I got them to adopt a bunch of kids, which I thought was really fun. But this time I might try for more genetic kids. Or we can do a mixture of them. Have a bit of a cuddle. Oh, we're going to get a cut scene because apparently this, this is the first time that we've been <laughs> Or it's just the first time we're watching. <laughs> so we get to enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you, Sims. And then we'll listen for the chimes. Hopefully she is pregnant. No. Well, that's interesting, actually. All right. Well, that's about all we have time for to for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction to the Tinker family. Um, I definitely have plans to try to yeah get their business booming and get them into a privately owned uh, community lot for the to sell their toys. But next episode with them, we'll definitely try to get this open and at least making them a little bit of money. And with Melody, we will definitely be exploring sort of her future and what she wants. We'll be following her wants uh, pretty closely and watching her interactions with other Sims and seeing what comes up. But for today, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this part. Please leave a like or a comment if you have, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.